friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Uh, I've gotten blessed with an extra half gallon of milk over the last two days, so today I'm going to make uh, herbed cream cheese. Alright, let's get started. First off, we're going I do it in a double boiler because I don't like to scorch my milk. So we're going to put some hot water in the bottom of this pot, and of course at this point I don't have a double boiler this small. So I'm just going to use a pot and a bowl, all right? And for this, re for this recipe, you're going to need a half a gallon of milk and a quarter cup of lemon juice. And after that, you're going to need some, whatever seasonings you like. Today, it's going to be salt, pepper, and fresh chives from the garden. So what we wanna do is we wanna bring this half gallon of milk up to just under 200 degrees okay that means is when it just starts foaming around the edges kind of like I do when I make my yogurt we're just going to take this 12 cup Pyrex measuring cup and a mesh fine mesh sieve we're going to take two pieces of clean cheesecloth and you want them slightly long because we're going to tie them over a wooden spoon okay so we're going to take two pieces of che clean cheesecloth and we're just going to put those inside the sieve. Alrighty. Our milk is between 150 and 200 degrees. We know this because there is a fine foam starting around the edge and because the milk itself is steaming, but we don't want it to boil. So let's turn the heat off now that we've got it where we want and let's add our quarter cup of lemon juice. Now you can use white vinegar and we're just going to stir this and we're going to let it curdle and as you can see it's already doing that awesome uh, we don't season this right away we're going to uh, separate the curds in the way isn't that wonderful how nicely that's coming along the reason we have such two thicknesses of cheesecloth and the strainer is because this curd comes out really fine it's not like we've used rennet so we are just going to start pouring this slowly through the cheesecloth you really want the strainer under there to support the cheesecloth if you hear it so that it stops dripping go ahead and just very gently scrape the bottom scrape the sides down but be careful not to catch that cheesecloth edge okay like I just did there. You want to scrape the sides down very gently. Let's move this bowl. Oh, I did it again! I can't believe I just did that, folks. Got to be careful. Have a good grip on that handle. Let's just pour this back in there. We're just going to have to strain it again. There we go. My goodness, I am a dopey dumpling today. All right, while this is straining, I'm going to go out in the garden and grab some herbs. All righty, folks. Let's, while it's straining, I've gone out and got myself some chives. Um, they're the first things to come up, and I actually have them in a uh, growing in a container outside, and even in the container, winter never seems to bother them. Isn't that lovely? And then we're going to add about a half a teaspoon of fresh ground pe pepper, and about a half a teaspoon of our pink Himalayan salt. And that is all that this cheese is going to need. Now if you want when it's all done, when we unroll the cheese from the cheesecloth, you can roll the cheese ball in some uh, chives. Once this is in the strainer, which we're hoping will be right now, this is actually gonna have to drain for minimum of 12 hours. I would leave it overnight. But before we do that, we are going to mix in our seasonings. Before we strain this any further, I'm going to very carefully pick this up and hold the cheesecloth around. And we're just going to dump that in there. We're going to dump this. It's still quite liquidy, but we're going to turn our cheesecloth inside out. 
and we're just going to squeeze that cheese off of there. I'm going to dump this in the way in the pig's bucket. Pigs will be getting a treat tonight. Don't want to lose any bit of that cheese. And we're going to reline it with some cheesecloth. We're just going to take a fork and we're going to mix in the salt, the pepper, and the chives. Now at this point, if you wanted to just chill this, it would be like a cottage cheese. But I want more of a cream cheese. Okay, let's drop this back into the strainer with the cheesecloth. I didn't put as much cheesecloth in this time. This is just a piece of cheesecloth that's just folded into thirds. Now I'm going to very carefully take my spoon or fork, wooden fork that I was using, and I'm just going to tie up the corners of my cheesecloth like so around the spoon. Because you want now, you want the gravity and the weight of the cheese to work for you. Okay, we're just going to take this now. We're gonna let this, its own weight, press it out the liquid. Hey okay, folks, it's been about eight hours since we did this. And since I have company coming tomorrow, let's just, this will probably be softer than I would like it, but it'll be lovely to have with our venison dinner tomorrow. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? There we go. Nice ball of herb cheese. Let's have a little taste. Mmm. It's not all at all overpowering, um, salty or anything like that. It's just lovely. I forgot to um, film the putting the cheese on the salad last night because we have company. And it is amazing on toast. This is really good. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying soft goat urban chive cheese. Yummy.